Kamala Harris caught in money funneling scheme with Maxine Waters. According to the Washington Free Beacon, nearly $750,000 has been funneled through an endorsement and mailing list operation run by Waters and her daughter, Karen. The mailers list the candidates endorsed by Waters and is sent to the more than 200,000 constituents in South Central Los Angeles area, where the Congresswoman holds considerable clout. The mailers contain an official sample ballot with brief quotes from the Congresswoman. The operation is run by Karen Waters, the daughter of Rep. Waters, who has collected more than $650,000 to date for running the endorsement mailers. Karen is owed another $108,000 from her mother's campaign committee, according to its most recent records. Once Karen is paid, her total payments will reach more than $750,000 since 2006. One would think that paying such ludicrous amounts of money for endorsements would be a bit unusual, but that isn't the case according to California's Senator Kamala Harris who has reportedly paid Waters tens of thousands of dollars to be included on the printed list of endorsements. Harris, who has garnered media attention and earned speculation that she is positioning herself to run for president in 2020 following her performance during recent Senate hearings, including that of former FBI Director James Comey, has kicked $63,000 to the campaign of Maxine Waters the congressional face of the anti-Trump movement, in exchange for placement on the endorsement mailers, the Free Beacon reported, citing Federal Election Commission records. Pretty alarming, isn't it, folks? Politics can be so sick and twisted at times. Apparently, the Waters campaign operation, the only one of its kind, has been able to bypass contribution limits that restrict other people, thanks in part to a decade-old legal loophole. Pretty ironic when you consider most Democrats are against money in politics, huh? Huh?